Um, what about WTO considerations? Both the supplementary coverage option program and the PLC program provide subsidies based on every acre that a farmer plants. They are clearly there for what are called amber box programs under the WTO. That is programs that involve subsidies that directly affect current production decisions. If these numbers get large, larger than, than small amounts, um, almost certainly a wide range of different countries will be uh, uh, carefully considering bringing the sort of WTO case that Brazil bought with respect to cotton, uh, and they'll win. There's no issue that they'll win. Currently, the US reports crop insurance as a de minimis amber box program unrelated to a particular crop. That's one reason why we have not come close to our aggregate measure of support obligation of 19.16 billion uh, under WTO. Take the PLC program in a quote bad year, 18 billion dollars, add to it six to eight billion dollars in crop insurance and we're somewhere approximately 25 percent just with those two programs over our current WTO obligations and will be subject to those sorts of penalties that arise with violating that part of the agreement. The more troublesome in some ways issue, but or just as troublesome issue is that WTO dispute panels find that a country has suppressed world market prices when world market prices fall at the same time that subsidies under a program rise. Of course, that's exactly what will happen in the PLC. And they have almost uniformly, in every case that's come before them, where there's been a significant increase in subsidies by a country in the years in which prices have gone down, found against the policies of that country. 